So I'm out off to pretty far off a road and in this area there's kind of like some woods and then some field. So I put some different pieces of tin between here and the field to see if we could attract anything. So it's not the best weather today. It could be for some things. It looks like it's just about to rain basically any minute now. There's lots of sitting water so there's mosquitoes everywhere. But there might be some things under the tin, I don't know. I just stuck them in a bunch of different areas so we can check them. if you can hear it but the rain has started it took a while but that's kind of immediate Let's see how bad it is it's not too bad right now it's a little bit more wet now but it smells good some shelter well I can't pick that one up second one that I found this year I found another uh, one of the same so no one really purposefully runs over turtles, I don't think. Uh, like usually if you see a turtle in the road, you're gonna swerve and try to get around it. I did find quite a few killed adult turtles, but the issue is the turtles are so tiny because they're hatchlings. Even I can barely see them when they've already been killed on the road. So it's really unfortunate, but it's also super hard to avoid since that water where they probably hatched from is so close to that road. No idea if this one's alive or not. This is the third one. I think she's moving. I kind of squeezed her. I don't know why I'm seeing her, but... So let's give you some actual information on what just happened. Uh, firstly, this right here is a juvenile, probably a hatchling either map turtle, yellow belly slider, or maybe even a river, river cooter. It's pretty hard to tell. I have people telling me all sorts of different animals because I just actually did a small live stream with this animal right here. But basically, I've been going back and forth on this road multiple times every single day because there's been tons of juvenile turtles all over it. Right behind me, uh, just slightly that way and behind me, there are some pretty large ponds both that way and that way uh, with clearly some different turtle eggs and all sorts of things. All these animals are moving across the road, which is right behind the camera. You're probably gonna hear some cars. Here comes some more cars, I think. And these turtles are just trying to make it to wherever they're gonna go. However, they're only like a few days old, maybe even a few hours old. They get over to the road and the cars just cannot see them. So sure, he, uh, here comes more cars. So sure, people are usually not gonna stop for a snake, especially in this neighborhood. That's just not what these people are into. Um, but it's rare that people are going to purposefully run over turtles. Although last year I found probably four or five killed turtles, unfortunately. It was like, I think it was even more than that because there's some sharp turns on this road and people drive pretty fast on it so you can't see them in time. Uh, but even these turtles, they're so tiny because they're hatchlings. Even I can barely see them and I'm out looking for them going at slow uh, speeds. They really blend into the road and they're just so small you really don't notice it at all. However, I came up to this girl, or guy, I don't know, but I went up and I was sure that this is the third dead one I found. The first two I actually thought might have been alive, uh, but they weren't, and she was upside down on the road, completely tucked in the shell. I was going up, another car was coming, it was like a big truck, and it was not slowing down at all even though it was right on the side of the road. And it actually skimmed her shell, so she got hit or skimmed or messed with by two different cars and she still survived somehow. Uh, she wouldn't open her eyes, I had to pour a bunch of water on her to get her to open her eyes. And the really unfortunate part is her back legs won't move at all. She's been moving around the, uh, the golf cart and different things. As I was doing the live stream, I might be able to pull some clips up of that. Her back legs are completely not functioning whatsoever. Her front legs are, but that's going to be an issue if she's going to survive. We're gonna do a little field test right here. I have some water left. She is semi-aquatic. Let's see how she does in this water. Okay. 
So turtles are always extremely important to relocate, but because she was harmed by an unnatural force, I guess? I won't necessarily keep her, but I'm at least gonna take her in and see how well she can do. Because they are semi-aquatic, whatever species she is, she's definitely semi-aquatic. She needs her back legs to be able to function. I need to make sure she can actually stay afloat, come up for air, and get food and stuff, so I have no idea how it's gonna go. So it's overall it's unfortunate. It's pretty sad that I'm excited over the fact that we found a live turtle um, because there's been so many uh, killed ones. But it's better than nothing, I guess. And there's just really not much you can do because people cannot see them whatsoever unless you're really looking for them and really going slowly. That's this turtle. Um, I already put text up on whatever it actually is. Either a slider, river cooter, or a map turtle. I don't know my turtles too well. Hopefully I can give you some updates soon. But that's today's video. Uh, I don't know if this counts as a herping video. I guess it kind of does. But that'll be it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.